boys and girls, it's Miss Kim from Miss Kim's Children's Music. Today's vlog episode, we are going to make a do-it-yourself sock puppet from items around the house. Isn't that cool? We're gonna make a puppet come alive. Do you wanna see the puppet I made? Just for you guys to make sure this project was nice and easy for you all. Meet Coco. Hello, boys and girls. Miss Kim made me. I made Coco. What do you think? I think it's great. Me too. We're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Let's have some fun. Stick around. We're going to make sock puppets. The items we are going to need today for this fun do-it-yourself sock puppet First and foremost, always put some paper down on your table so you don't get any glue on it. Second, we're gonna need a sock. A small sock will do. Be try it on with your hands so you can see if it fits, okay? Then we're going to need some fabric glue, some yarn, any color you like, some felt, Pink and red is good for the mouth. Some card stock, which is basically just like cardboard. So if you have an old cereal box in the recycling bin, you can use a cereal box, that's fine. Some pom-poms, small, large, and different colors. These are small little pom-pom balls. And you're gonna need some scissors. It, it always helps to have a pair of scissors handy. But be careful. Always have your adult with you as well. So stick around. We're going to take this step by step and we're going to have a lot of fun making a sock puppet. What you need today will be paper to protect your table, a pair of scissors with an adult there to help you, cardstock or cardboard from an old cereal box, fabric glue, yarn or ribbon felt to make the eyes and mouth, pom-poms or buttons, a small sock, and don't forget to get the adult to help you with this fun do-it-yourself sock puppet. Let's begin. Now that we have all the items that we need to make our sock puppet, we're gonna take our sock first. If it's not already inside out, put your hand inside and turn it inside out like that. You're going to take the heel, where the heel goes, and you're gonna put that sort of up like it's the bottom lip. See how it looks like a lip? And you're going to place that flat down. You're gonna grab your cardstock, and you're going to make an oval to fit, cut your oval gently and carefully, to fit on the sock. This is going to be where we put our hand to help us move the mouth. So that looks a little too big, so I'm gonna cut it and fit it exactly to the shape of the sock. Cut it a little bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just enough so that when you fold it, you're able to make your puppet's mouth move. Just like that. Okay, now you can have mommy or daddy help you. I'm gonna make it just a little bit more Cut a little more off. There we go, that's perfect. So now we have that. The next step is to gently and carefully get your glue ready. And you're going to put glue on the edges all around your blue or whatever color card stock you choose. All around the ends of the cardstock, and then in the middle. Okay, as you can see, I have glue all over. And now I'm going to put it down on the flat side and push it down real good. Now this is gonna be the hard part. You may have to pause this video and come back. This has to dry first before we can, before we can get to the next step. 
So set that aside and let it dry for a couple hours and then it will look like this. Okay? So this is dried and it's ready to be our mouth. So you're gonna put your hand inside and you're going to turn it inside out. Now Miss Kim has already added a few things to this one. I added the felt mouth, which is the same concept. You're going to cut out the felt. You're gonna shape it in the shape of a mouth. You can even do this while you're waiting for the glue to dry and get everything ready so that the next step will be ready. Okay. So, shape it so that it comes close to that and then you can kind of refine it as you go. And cut a little bit more off here, make it more rounded. Felt isn't easy to cut, so you may need mommy or daddy to help you with cutting it. Gluing is my favorite part. Something about glue that's a lot of fun. Okay, it's just about ready. I need to cut just a little more off the edge here so that it fits and it's not sticking out of the mouth of our sock puppet. Perfect. Excellent. So as you can see, Next step is we're going to glue to make this the mouth, the inside. See, it's pink. So glue that down and then grab yourself a little bit of the red felt and we're going to shape a tongue. Next. And you can actually glue this on immediately after you glue the mouth part, the pink part. So here's a tongue. And then you're gonna grab your glue and glue on your tongue, just like Miss Kim did earlier. Okay? So we're almost there. And when that dries, which you'll have to let that dry for a little bit before you can put your hand in or it won't stay, you'll be able to have the cardstock on the inside giving you stability so you can move the puppet and the outside will look like a mouth right here. Now, as you can see, I put a nose on already. I got a little excited. You can take any color nose you want and put it on the very tip with a little bit of glue. And again, this will also have to dry for quite a while. While we're waiting for our mouth to dry, we are going to cut out some eyeballs from white felt. So round, as round as you can get these eyeballs, is the next step in our fun puppet making. Here's one eyeball. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to try to make it the same exact size and I can match it up and shape the two together. I'll show you how to do that as well. I'm just gonna make a, a circle as best I can. Okay, so here's two circles. They're almost about, about the same size. One's a little bigger, so I'm putting it up against each other so that I can shape them so they're just about the same size. If you wanna go for a really unique alien looking puppet, you can make eyes that are one bigger, one smaller. So I have my two eyes and I'm going to put them, I'd like to kind of measure where the eyes should go by putting my hand in there and then putting them on there. Let's see, where would I want my eyes to go? One there and one there. Right about there. Okay, so I kind of know where I want them now. Basically right off to the side of the nose is perfect. Okay. Then we're going to pick up our glue. Of course, it's taken me a second to get my glue out because I already used a lot of this. And then we're going to put a nice amount of glue and just push that eye down. We'll do the other one now, right in the center of the eyeball. 
push that eye down. Cool. Excellent. So I'm going to add a little glue over here so it sticks to the end nicely. And over here a little more. Now, again, patience. We learn patience when we have to wait for things to dry. So we're going to set that aside and let that dry. And we're going to begin cutting hair. So it all depends. You can have your hair long like I did. See how I did long? Or you can make short hair like this puppet here. This puppet has short hair and blue eyes. And this puppet has long hair. So you can choose what you want to do. Either way, whatever puppet you like. You like the long haired one or you like the short haired one. So you can start with making it long, and if you didn't like it long, you can actually cut it with the scissors. So I'm gonna do the long one first. While we're waiting for everything to dry. So what I want you to do is make several long pieces of yarn and cut them. Cut them almost the same size if you can. You can measure it up to the next piece and just lay it down and keep making as many as you can we can always cut the hair and give it a haircut or a yarn cut in, it, in this instance. <laughs> I would say cut a good five to ten. If you want a lot of hair, you can cut more. Five to ten pieces, long pieces of yarn. trick on how I got this to stick to the sock with fabric glue. Some of you crafters, you probably know you can use your glue gun and all of this will go a lot faster. But Miss Kim wants to try to keep this really easy, simple for the children so they can do this themselves because we know a glue gun is really hot. So pick up your hair. Now this is going to be a little tricky. You want to try to make a circle like this almost like a knot. If you need help from mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa, see I'm making a knot. The knot helps us to have a place to glue the hair. Okay? Again, if you want more hair, you can do more strands. You can do about 20 strands and like this and then knot it together. And then I got this knot and I glued it to the sock and pushed it really hard to make Coco. You see Coco has a knot as well. Okay, so let's do that next step. Let's put some glue in the middle of the sock. So basically, right about there. And squeeze it really hard. Squeeze it. Okay. Now we're going to let that dry as well. In the meantime, we can pick the color eyes that we want. Let's see. I have lots of colors in here. How about we do... I think orange would go really cool with this puppet. See, you can be as creative as you want to be orange eyes. So these little balls need glue right in the middle of the white part, right there. My glue is taking a while. Here we go. And then you are going to push on the little pom-pom ball into the center of your sock puppet. And then let it dry. And then we can have some fun. So that is the next step, is to let these guys dry. So off to the side to dry. 
Pretty easy to make a sock puppet, I know. So we have Coco with the long hair. And as you can see, I didn't add any other colors in the hair, but with our puppet over here, I don't know what we could call this puppet. Hmm. How about we call you Sam. Sam has a little purple in his hair, I added. When I knotted it, I added some purple. So those are other ideas. You can cut the hair to make it even shorter. I, I chose to keep it long. And I made this one short for contrast. This, Sammy has blue eyes. Coco has brown eyes. So let's say goodbye. 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 Have a wonderful day. Come again and visit Miss Kim. Miss Kim loves you all so much. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. More to come. Bye.